Hey everybody, my name is Matt Smith. I'm with the um, I'm with the Four Car Garage Automotive Group, and today I want to talk about pros and cons of continuously variable transmissions, or you might know that as CVT transmissions. So this is going to be kind of a lengthy one. So hang in there. This will be worth your time. A uh, growing number of cars and sport utility vehicles now come with a continuously variable transmission CVT instead of a conventional transmission. CVTs have been used in passenger cars since 1989 but haven't been in cars. But if you haven't been car shopping in several years then you'll realize that CVTs are new to you and here's a quick overview of the new technology. What is a CVT transmission? That's the real question. A CVT is a type of automatic transmission that delivers seamless acceleration without interruption for gear shifts instead of a fixed gears. It uses a pair of a variable width pulley and are connected by a flexible belt. Now, CVT versus a conventional automatic trans, uh, transmission is that this purpose of the transmission is connected to the engine to the wheels and to help the engine stay in optimal RPM range as it powers in the car. The lower gears are good for low speed and steep hill, high climbs, while the higher gears are good for higher speeds. A conventional automatic transmission uses a set of number a set number of lower, medium, and high gears, usually six to ten, to send an engine's power to the wheels. A CVT has no gears at all. It uses two variable width pulley connected by a flexible belt. One pulley is also connected to an engine while the other is connected to a wheel. The key here is that the width of the pulleys changes according to how much uh, power is needed. On One gets a larger and the other becomes smaller. Because the pulleys and the belts aren't fixed, they can offer an infinite number of gear ratios between the lowest and the highest gears. That compares to a conventional automatic, which usually has four to eight gear ratios between the lowest and the highest gears. This allows a CVT to deliver strong and seamless acceleration. Pros of using the CVT. Automatics Automakers are usually using CVTs for several reasons. A CVT can get maximum power out of a small engine for a quicker and more responsive acceleration. That's why you'll most often find CVTs used to vehicles for four-cylinder engines. CVTs also eliminate abrupt downshifts when additional power is needed for passing. A CVT likewise operates smoothly while climbing hills. This avoids the gear hunting, which you'll often feel in a conventional transmission. And because the CVT is lighter in weight and it delivers better power efficiency, it helps improve a vehicle's fuel economy. That's why many hybrid-powered vehicles come with a CVT. Now, here's the cons of using a CVT transmission. Some drivers find the sensation of the continuous acceleration without shift points to be unnerving. If you like sportier driving, the absence of the fixed gears can make a downshifting and upshifting feel less engaging. Uh, another common complaint is that the CVT tr tends to make a vehicle drone loudly during acceleration. That's because it often forces the engine to run at a higher constant RPM as the vehicle gets up to speed. Uh, are CVT problems common? A CVT is not without mechanical problems, and with conventional automatics it can be expensive to repair and replace. A CVT search the website at carcomplaints.com and you'll find a number of common issues with CVTs. These include overheating, slipping, jerking, shuddering, and sudden loss of acceleration. As with any transmission, there are some cases where CVTs have failed altogether. A CVT belt is, is in particular can be subject to excessive wear and stretching. In some extreme cases, owners filed lawsuits against automakers because of the poor and unreliability of CVT uh, performance. So, which cars have a CVT? If your car is shopping, 
it may be difficult to tell whether it's a vehicle is equipped with a CVT or a standard automatic transmission. Both types look the same with the shift levels they include drive, neutral, park, obviously they appear to be the same from the interior of the car. But CVTs are most commonly used in Mitsubishis, Nissans, and Subaru cars and sport utility vehicles. Honda and Toyota now including them in a wider range of models as well. There is still more common among Japanese import brands than the domestic or the European imports. Generally, a given model offers either a CVT or a conventional automatic. The Honda Accord is the rare vehicle that offers both types, but in this case, it's either a transmission available only with a specific engine, so buyers still don't have a choice in the matter. Though there are no gears in a CVT, some allow manual shifting. Here, the belt and the pulley systems move to present points that simulate changing gears. This accomplishes either by moving the shifter left lever to the clicking to the steering wheel mounted on the paddles. As an example, a CVT in a Subaru Ascent SUV comes with eight of these shift points. In the latest twist on the technology, CVT in the Toyota Corolla adds what is called a launch gear. This is like the first gear in a standard transmission. The launch gear handles the car acceleration up to speeds of 25 miles per hour after which the transmission switches over to a belt and pulley system. Toyota says having the launch gear enables stronger, smoother acceleration from standing start. Shopping tools from Carfax. There are a number of ways to tell which types of transmissions a given vehicle is included. You can find the information on the automaker's website a printed brochure on the window sticker of the new vehicle. If you're shopping for used cars, it may require added research. Fortunately for our car research, using car listing sections provide the details on most car models. Thank you so much. Please, if you're interested in this channel, click and subscribe. I need to get to 1,000 um, users before I can start making money on these videos. And as always, Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye now.